Hey, hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is Code Town Round 8 of Code Forces, and we're gonna solve the first problem that is uh, Farmer John's challenge. So they are telling that um, we can call an array as sorted if a1 less than or equal to a2, a2 less than or equal to a3 and so on. Like the numbers can be consecutive like 2, 3, 4 or 2, 4, 5, anything. And also the numbers can be same as well, 2, 2 like that. But the array should be sorted. Now um, we have a farmer, okay. This farmer has two favorite integers, one is n and one is k. Now he challenges me or you to find an array of length n which is consisting of the uh, numbers like a1 to an. This numbers should satisfy the condition of each number should be in the range of 1 to 10 power 9 maximum for each index 1 less than or equal to i less than or equal to n means for each index this should be the condition. Out of n total cyclic shifts of a this is the a array exactly k of them are sorted. So we need to produce an array such that this condition is there. So for example what does cyclic shift mean is if we have given 1, 2, 3, 3, the first cyclic shift will be 1, 2, 3, 3. This is sorted. And second cyclic shift is this one, right? They moved to the last element. So it will be 2, 3, 3, 1. What will be the next cyclic shift? It will be 2, 2 will be moved to here. So it will be 3, 3, 1, 2. So you are just cyclically shifting it. They will give you n length of integers and they will give you a number k. They are asking whether you will be able to produce an array such that uh, k of them k cyclic shifts for one cyclic shift two cyclic shift up till k cyclic shift our array can be sorted or not uh, so if it is not possible we just have to print minus one so for example uh, here they gave like n is 2 and k is 2 so for first cyclic shift it should be sorted second cyclic shift it should be sorted they told that one one is one valid array right and for 3, 1, they gave you this one so that uh, if you move 69420 to the end, it will be 69420. This one, it will be sorted. And there will be many combinations or permutations as well. So we have to print any of them. For 3, 2, it is not possible. Now, what is happening here? Let's try for one case. Now, if n equal to 3 and k equal to 1, it is definitely possible, right? We can do something like uh, 1, 2, 3. We can print like this. So one more cyclic shift happens, the condition breaks. So we need exactly only one condition. So k equal to one, this is sorted. When k equal to two comes, k equal to three comes, this and all won't work, right? Uh, so k equal to one. For three equal to one, I can just print uh, sorted array from one to k, one to n. Now, uh, if it is n is three and k is also three, what happens? What can I do? In this case, I just have to see the example they already gave 2 2 similarly I can print all as 1 1 all should be same numbers so that how many times I uh, do a cyclic shift every time it will be sorted only now let's try for 3 as 2 so for two cyclic shifts will my array be sorted it is not possible right if I do 1 2 3 okay for one cyclic shift it is sorted if I move this one to here no it is not working so let's try for another approach like 3, 2, right? 1, 1, 1. If 1, 1, 1 happens, all the three cyclic shifts, this will be sorted. I need exactly two cyclic shifts only. So it is not working. So only thing is, if n is 3 and k is 1, if n can be anything but k is 1 means I need to keep a sorted array. If n is 3 and k is equal to 3, n equal to equal to k means you need to print the same numbers. So this is the code here. So if n equal to equal to k, you can just print all ones. And uh, as I told earlier here, and k, uh, suppose if n is greater than k, and k is greater than or equal to 2, that means if k equal to 1 means you print from 1 to n. If it is greater than 1 or greater than or equal to 2, you simply put minus 1. It is not possible. So this is the solution here. And there are many approaches. So Keep watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.